Hi, my name is Bill Barney. I'm with Community Dish in Pahrump, Nevada. I'm an SBCA licensed installer, that's Satellite Broadcast Communications Association, and I'd like to help you with your satellite installation. Now that the installation is done on the outside of the house, we could move to the inside of the house where we're going to install the standard Dish Network 311 receiver. It's also on the older versions known as a 301. Real simple. You've got two wires. One going to the television and the other coming from the wall, which runs outside to the satellite dish. Let's hook up the satellite dish first. If you look at the back of the receiver, you'll notice that there's a black, white, and blue F connector out. They're threaded. The satellite receiver port is the blue port. We've got it color code in this case. The blue fitting is going to go on to the blue port. And that connects the satellite dish to the receiver. Connecting the TV to the receiver, there's two more fittings. The black fitting has a little tiny off-air antenna. That is for your outdoor antenna for local channels. The white fitting has a little tiny TV next to it. That's for the television input wire. And so we're going to screw that onto the TV input wire. If you notice, there's a little switch between those two ports, between the TV port and the antenna input jack. It's called a 3-4 switch. It puts the video output on that TV jack, either on channel 3 or 4. I'm going to make sure it's set on 3, since that's where I do most of my installs, and it is. The next thing, plug the receiver in. And the satellite receiver is connected. We're going to turn it around so that we can now see the front of the receiver and not the back. I'm going to try and tuck these wires in a little bit. Then we're going to move the TV back into position. Slide the TV back in place. We're done.